Let us look at the parts of a common semi-automatic pistol. It should be noted that not all semi-automatic pistols have the same functions and controls as the one pictured. First we have the slide. The slide on the majority of semi-automatic pistols is the upper part that reciprocates, or slides, with recoil during the firearm's operating cycle. It generally houses the firing pin or striker, the extractor, and frequently also the barrel, and provides a mounting platform for iron and optical sights. This firearm has a grip module, which is an interchangeable frame that houses important components of the firearm. Let's look at the beaver tail. This is an extension to the frame or grip module that the webbing of your hands rests against. The beaver tail adds comfort and aids in securing your hand to the firearm. Then we have the trigger and trigger guard. When compressed, the trigger is the first stage in the firing sequence and the trigger guard protects the trigger. Then we have the hammer. The hammer is a part of a firearm that is used to strike the firing pin. It resembles a hammer in both form and function. The rear sight and front sight collectively give us the ability to achieve sight picture and sight alignment during our aiming process. The slide catch is responsible for locking the slide to the rear, as well as providing an option to release the slide forward. The grip panel and back strap are the parts of the grip to wrap your hands around. Then we have our muzzle, the very front of the barrel that the projectile exits from. An accessory rail which allows us to attach accessories like flashlights and or lasers. Here we can also see our front strap, which is where your fingers wrap around to achieve a proper grip. We can also see the magazine, which is a removable component and holds the ammunition. The magazine release is responsible for locking the magazine into place and then releasing it from the firearm. This firearm also has a takedown lever. This is used for disassembly and maintenance of your firearm. Let us take a closer look at some of the internal components in this semi-automatic firearm. Here we can see our firing pin, the component that strikes the primer of the cartridge. The barrel is the tube which the projectile is pushed through. The recoil guide rod and recoil spring work together to return the slide into battery. When the slide moves to the rear, the spring is compressed. The compressed spring provides the force necessary to push the slide forward into battery. Let's take a closer look at the magazine. Here you can see the magazine body which is the outside of the magazine. Then we have the magazine floor plate, which is the bottom of the magazine. Inside, we have the magazine spring and the magazine follower. The magazine spring provides tension and pressure, and the magazine follower keeps the cartridges in the correct position.